welcome back everybody welcome if you're a new episode 61 of the career mode we had a great first uh four races we got a 48 point lead over everybody which is great we started out the season with a win at volusia pretty convincingly got second at old mill so that was a pretty good race for us got first at i-55 with a bunch of wrecks so we got lucky there and uh got close to getting the win at the dirt track at las vegas but uh just barely came up short Still got a lot of money for that. We just got our first sponsorship, which will pay us uh, a decent bit, I think. A little bit, at least. So, 6400 per race. Probably get close to 8000 with our guy that helps us out with like our payout per race. So, we'll see after the first race what we'll start getting paid. So, still uh, at $285,000. Just going to try to save up for the rest of the season. But this episode, we're going to have I-19, which is a quarter mile track. Not as big as uh, the layout makes it look, but we'll see how it races. Rockberry, which is a pretty big track, if I remember from the old Tony Stewart game. It looks like Indianapolis on dirt, basically. Uh, Desert Rocks, never been to. These first three race tracks we've never been to in this uh, episode. So this is going to be interesting. Lucas Oil, and finish it off with Texas, which I haven't really ran either. So this is going to be an interesting one. Bunch of new tracks to run and hopefully we can do pretty well and uh get keep stockpiling up this money all right now that we got some top five goals this episode we still hit it in practice pretty easily our qualifying goal is really really close to what we ran in practice so we'll see if we can hit that try to get as much money as we can throughout the season with our goals run this top side to gain as much speed as we can and then try to get a nice little groove down here not that low don't want to be all the way down there on the apron but it works i guess and a good three and four there. I know I can run consistently in the fives. That was a 539. That was a little bit better of a one and two, but I didn't have the run in for this lap. So I don't know if it's going to be any quicker. Second lap was a 590. So not as quick. We didn't have the run in, but eighth place, still not that bad. Should be second in heat number four. Yes, it is. That's solid. Good starting position for us. Uh, who's up front? Waters is here, who raced in the showcase, but isn't here every week. Bar, Duke, and Bolak. Haven't seen Bolak at all that I've seen in any of the races so let's see if we could try to get the win here in the heat race who's up front i think that's bolak in the r32 need to try to get down to the bottom as early as we can get to his inside should be able to cut him off on exit no he had a good run there but the top's just not as fast to my to me at least oh i don't want to hit him we got caught up together a little bit but i should be able to catch his momentum oh he really did not want to give that up I was just trying to block off his momentum, and he really did not want to let off. Uh, he doesn't race these every week, so he was just going for it. I don't blame him. But that will put us up to fourth in the qualifying dash currently, which is really nice. These laps are going to go by so fast in the feature, it's going to be crazy. Got 20 laps here. With like nine and a half second laps, like it's going to be super, super fast. It's going to be crazy. It's going to be like six laps per, per minute which is nuts like if you're in the actual car i feel like you get so dizzy at this place just going around and around it's like the chili bowl in a way i feel like you get so dizzy at the chili bowl i don't know that'd be nuts but starting fourth in the qualifying dash we'll see if we can gain some more spots out of this one worst we could start is eighth which that's not too bad still but rather start more towards the front try to get this win we can get a nice cut down to start and on every restart it seems if we do start on the outside so that's not too bad we got Bard up in second, who's had some decent races, but also had some unfortunate wrecks with some guys. So he usually doesn't finish too well. I know first week he was not very good at all. Water seems pretty fast, though. He finished third in the showcase. So he's going to be one we're battling with this entire race, most likely. Already up to second, though, in a couple of laps, which is awesome. I feel like we have a really good shot at winning this race. I should be able to do the same thing I did to Bolak to Waters in the feature. I don't know what my timing is though for turn one. It's just so, so different and not hitting the right line like right here. I keep going down too low and getting the apron in one and two, but three and four, I can hit the right line every single time. Confusing to me, I don't know. But starting out second in the A main, so far we're on a, a nice rhythm of getting first, second, first, second. So this race, we should be first by all of our, uh, what's it called? Uh, like. I cannot think sequences like our, the right sequence that uh, we're on first place in this race that that's how the script shows so far this season and able to get in front of waters immediately he didn't put as much up of a fight as bolak did but also the heat racing and the qualifying and qualifying dash is always a little tougher than the a main for some reason 
So if we do start towards the front in the A main, I feel like we always have a great shot of winning. They're just like much tougher. And well, I have qualifying set though really hard, like as hard as it can go. So we, they, we've only gotten one pole ever. And then I guess the heat racing and qualifying dash goes off of that as well. But the A mains, like whatever you set it on, like expert is what I've had it on all see all career mode. I think if you put it on legendary, which is like the hardest, or you actually go on like the scaling, because you can do like between I want to say it's like 90 and 105 is the like scale ratio of the uh, levels, which I just have it on expert. I don't even do the scaling thing. I just do expert. You can go out to like 105, which I think is like legendary plus some more or something or just legendary. I don't know. But I imagine if you do that, you'd have to buy all the upgrades on the cars to compete for wins like this. Either that or it's going to be even really tougher to win races and you'll have to do stuff with the actual setups. Because if you know how to make a setup, you can be much faster. So if you put if you do the career mode on legendary, let me know because I would like to know if you guys actually do set up for every single track and stuff i'm getting into a lap car don't cause a caution nope he kept it going straight we're good that was my bad but i would love to know if anybody actually does all the uh career mode on legendary because that is absolutely crazy like experts are grind enough like i'm on this is episode 61 and we're on the uh second season or the third season of national series of trying to win every championship which is nuts. And we've gone through multiple seasons and a lot of series just to win the championship in one of them. So some, some of them we've one-shotted, which has been nice and uh, quick. Like this this series, the 305s and the Nationals, we're getting lucky because we had 800,000 coming into this season. But other, other series, we're not going to be as lucky by any means. But we're just dominating this. Six laps to go. We're still only half a second ahead of uh, waters behind us he's keeping pace with us pretty well getting through all these lap traffic and they're wrecking nice i don't know who that was that got flipped i want to say it was like the broski or something i don't see him in the top 10 so it might have been him it just looked like his paint scheme in a way that's unfortunate we'll probably see who it is real quick because they're going to be really off pace i think so it usually happens after a wreck the that person ends up like so off pace we might catch them by these uh next four laps Just got to hold this bottom Dukes up to second. And he's actually third in points right now. Waters fell back. Youngquist, Hefner, and Bard. They're all fighting for like top four. Oh, nobody's really that far off pace. So I don't think we're going to see who uh, ended up wrecking. They might be like dead last, but we'll see. Actually, I think they are really off pace. Because I'm like watching the white dots down there. Somebody's running the outside just losing a bunch of spots really quick, so... That may be who it is, but I don't think they're going to finish last or anything. They're going to finish back there, but we're going to get the win. So far, we're staying on that streak of first, second, first, second, and now first. So next week, we might get a second. But uh, got the win over Waters, actually ended up getting up to second. Youngquist got up to third. Duke fell all the way back to fourth there in the last couple laps. That's unfortunate for him. Really, really good race. That I didn't even pay attention to how much we would have won in that one, but we'll see. We're 60 points ahead of Duke now, who's in second place. We're absolutely dominating this series. 22,000. We do get 7,000 per race payout. Okay, so we're getting like 600 more than what it was saying. So it's still almost $34,000 there. We got our sponsor goal in uh, practice, which is nice. Need to try to hit that and qualify a little bit more and got a little bit more merch sold, which is great. And we get that top five sponsor gold money, which is really nice as well. I think that's like 3,800 or something. So solid, solid season so far. Rockberry is going to be interesting. This is going to be a really weird one for us, I think. But I'm just going to repair all our parts because I think we, we're we going to repair a lot after next race anyways. So 15 laps at Rockberry. That sounds good because I know it's going to be a very big, big, long straightaway track. So it's going to be tough for us. Probably going to have to do a little bit of gear ratio changing. But we're up to $312,000 with a 60-point lead on the season. I think we're looking good for the championship already, boys, which is awesome. And I think I'm trying to think about what we want to do next season. I don't know if I want to do UMPs or the big blocks. I think I'm leaning towards the UMPs because that's what we did first because those came out before big blocks, I believe. So I think I'm going to do UMPs, then big blocks and then move on from there. So it's been a great season so far. Let's keep it up. All right. Got our practice goal. It's actually pretty hard to hit. And I don't know if this is the exact track that was on uh, this Tony Stewart game because I feel like these corners are a little smaller. Like, it's a lot easier to, like, get a nice groove through them. I thought that it was much uh, bigger. It might have been, like, a three-quarter mile track on the Tony Stewart game. Not 100% sure, though, because I, I didn't play that game a whole lot. 
But I do remember a track very similar laid out to this. I just feel like the straightaways were longer and the corners were bigger. So it might have been three quarter mile on that track on that game. But either way, you just want to get out to the wall and get a nice turn in for these corners. I did a slight bit of gear ratio changing to get more acceleration down the straightaway, honestly, because we weren't really maxing out of RPMs down the straights. 384 on that first one, not bad. That's gonna mess up our speed a little bit getting down there down there on the apron. But yeah, this track may have been inspired by the Tony Stewart game by by all means. Second lap, not as fast. We didn't have to run in either. So 12th, not too bad, honestly. With a very big track like this, I feel like the engine's definitely more needed, but starting third in heat number four. The top five, I think, are making it anyways, so we should be good to go. Hopefully we can get in front of uh, it looks like Boyer's in second. I don't know who's out front. Uh, is that Duke, I think? I think that's Duke in first. It uh, sure is. Sir Ken Squire, Duke Jr. Let's see if we can try to get in front of Boyer here. That outside's definitely not preferred, but he had a lot more speed off the corner than we did. You can kind of see the uh, line through the corner where to like slide out to and everything, get a nice groove through it. I'm kind of staying, I stay a little bit too low, I think, and don't get as much of a run down these long straights as I should. Yeah, and see, like, that's much more of a good line through that. We're keeping up with Boyer, though. We're right on his ass. So hopefully we can get a good run at some point. I get a little good run through the center of the corner. I'm going to try to dive it here to the inside. Got up to second there. That's awesome. So that means we can start top eight instead of in 12. Two laps to go, though. 15 laps here. It's going to feel like a long time, but it might go by pretty quick with the battling with everybody. We should be battling pretty well, I think, in this race. Yeah, Boyer's falling off a little bit, losing his uh, touch through these corners. So I'm happy about that. At least we'll start top eight because uh, I think passes aren't going to be like super difficult once you uh, get the opportunity, but it might be... The opportunities might be few and far between for us in this one. So we need to do the best we can in these heat and qualifying dashes. Starting second, or not starting second, finish second there in the heat race, which is awesome. Starting eighth in the qualifying dash, we'll be able to get down to the bottom. I don't know how good of a jump we're going to get in the beginning anyways. So at least we'll be able to get down to the bottom very quick. We're going to be right behind Youngquist here in the 67. Which I think Duke has number 67 as well. I could be wrong, but I feel like he's number 67 also. We had a really good jump, honestly. Didn't uh, get to jump straight behind Youngquist, but had a good entry into that. Let's see if we can get by Reed. No, they had a good... They get really good runs off these restart, like, corners. Like, the very first corner, one and two, they get such a good exit. So we're up to seventh. That's solid. I don't think it really matters if we're on even or odd. Just try not to wreck. Get up in front of Reed here, block his momentum. Duke's stuck on the outside. The outside's definitely slower. Like, I didn't qualify and I ran all the way out by the wall. That's just to try to get the speed for the lap. Because it is very, very slow. Detweller is really falling off. Oh, it's Fred Arnold. There was a Kyle Arnold in the street stocks, which is interesting. Oh, almost got into him. I kind of got out of the way of Detweller too, so he had a good exit. He had some good speed down that straight. We're going to slide up in front of him here, though. We're up to six, so gain two spots. I'm happy about that. Let's see if we can try to catch Arnold here. Got one more lap to do it. I got the wall, though. Just trying not to touch the steering wheel. Probably should have uh, taken a slight left, though, so we didn't hit that wall. I was just trying to come off and keep as much momentum as we could. Didn't damage the car, though. So we're going to start sixth in the A main. That's not bad. At least we're starting a little bit further up. We already gained six spots in this race from where we qualify, which is awesome. That's how I always think about it. Where do we qualify? Where are we starting the A main? So we're six spots up, which is awesome. Dylan Smith. I don't recognize that name. That That's somebody that doesn't run every week either. But let's try to get that top five at least for our sponsor goal. Uh, if we can get second, that would be right in the script, basically, for first, second, first, second every race gonna be able to drop right behind Arnold it seems like we get a good enough jump on the restarts on the outside not to like get like the crossover like we normally do but like just drop behind him as soon as we get to the corner Arnold making big moves early actually Duke might be 57 I think that's a five back on the on the back end of his car I didn't really look up at the wing too much but we just got in front of Dabrowski in a whole corner that's nice up the fourth 
Dylan Smith still up front. Fred Arnold is flying, man. I know he was sucking in some other races, but he is absolutely flying right now. That was a terrible corner. I turned right in the middle of it to try to not go down into the apron. Duke Jr. trying to make that outside work, and that's a tough thing to do. Trying to pass him on the big end. We're up the fourth, though, with 12 laps left. That's great. Duke does go too wide through those corners. He is number 67. Okay. I saw on the wing, he had said 67 for sure. So there's two 67s, and I don't see, like, a number on either of them. Like, or not a number, like a letter next to either of them. So, like, they're just both number 67. But you can definitely tell the difference in the cars. Like, one's completely white and pink and black, and then Duke Jr.'s red and black all over. So... Let's see if we can catch up to these top two. We're running pretty good laps. As long as I get like a good run through the center of the corner and I don't have to turn too much, we gain a lot. Like right there. I didn't have to touch the wheel like hardly at all. And we caught up to Arnold's like bumper. And I think he's falling off a of Smith now with us getting to his bumper. I got two wide there. They're three and four. We're pulling away from the guys behind us, which is great. I think that gear ratio change was a big deal. All I did was change it from, it was at four eight. I changed it to five zero. We'll see if we could try to cross him. Oh, oh, nope. I was gonna see if we can go wide and then low on the exit, try to get on his low side. Might be able to scare him up into the corner by going down on the apron. Don't hit him, don't hit him. No, we're good. He had a good run on the exit of the back stretch. Oh, we're so fast through the center. Stay off of him. I don't want to damage the car or go flipping. Really need to slide up in front of him here. Yes, break his momentum. All right, we're in second, right where the script wants us to. <laughs> it's crazy that like we keep getting first, second, and now we're in right in second. And let's see if we can try to catch Smith. He's got eight tenths on us. We can run our good uh, corners. We might catch him. That was two tenths in that corner, but I think he gains in the tenth back down the straight, it seems. But if we get our good corner, we gain two tenths, and then he gains a tenth back, so... That one he's going to even out on, especially because I like, tapped the wall down in the middle of the back, uh, front stretch. We got five laps left. He gained on us there down the uh, in the corner, actually. But these lap cars are going to be interesting. Lap cars may play a huge factor here. Because, like, the only line is on the bottom. And he got into the 25th place for no reason. Maybe because his last name was Smith also. And he's like, there's only room for one of us. It's getting slowed up a little bit, especially mid corner. Oh, we're within half a second. Three laps left. Oh, the lap cars are beautiful there for me. They stayed right out the way. That was so good. Within three tenths, let's go. We're right at him. He gets checked up by another lap car just a little bit. We should get a better run into this corner than him. And maybe on the exit too, because that lap car, he's going low. Oh, he is pulling on us a little bit there. He's getting a little bit of free room in front of him. I need the draft. I don't know if the draft does anything. But we got one lap left. Come on. I want to get this win. Break the break the cycle of first, second, first, second. Oh, I got the wall a little bit. Dang it. Oh, what a run. What a run through this corner. Can I do anything with it? Uh, just not quite. Dang it. If we had one more lap, I think I could have gotten him. So close. But first, second, first, second, first, second now in this season. Damn, that's so that's so crazy that we keep getting back and forth like that. But that was a fun race, actually. Like, that was actually a lot better of a race than I expected it to be, honestly. Because, yeah, Dylan Smith, he doesn't run every week, I believe. Uh, where is he? Oh, he's in 20th. So maybe he does run every week. He just has a good engine. I don't know. But we're 888 on the season with three wins out of six races, which is crazy. And uh, what is that? I don't even want to do the math. Like, 62 points ahead? That's absolutely crazy. Because uh, that's against the Duke. Yeah, we only got two points on him. So that is awesome. 22,500 for second. We could have gotten that 25,000 for first. That would have been nice. And just about 35,000 there for that race. All right, got our top five goal perfect. That's an extra $1,700. That is really nice. Second at Rockberry. That means we should win here at Desert Rock. But I have never been here. So this is going to be interesting. Another top five goal for us. Let's go. We've got uh, $350,000. We don't need to repair anything. We just repaired everything. 62-point lead over Ken Duke Jr. We're doing awesome this season. Let's up the laps to, uh, I don't know, We could, I guess 15. 
because that's really all we can do 60 percent. we can't do 70 percent uh, but it is uh it's a four tenths mile track so actually uh what would that do for 80 80 might be only like 21 laps which honestly would not be that bad if it's only 21 laps oh it's 20 laps that's perfect actually 80 percent is 20 laps good so four tenths mile track never been here and it looks like a weird layout so this is going to be really interesting so let me let me go check this out all right, it was actually kind of easy to hit that hit that uh, practice time. Qualifying is pretty close to our practice time, so we need to get a really good run in for that lap. But this is actually a pretty flat track. Seems pretty easy to run too. We want to be right down there on the inside because it's outside. Like uh, I ran like a 13.7 or 13.4 or something like that in a couple laps I tried out here. So need to run outside, get that speed, go way inside. Definitely don't need to go that low, but I, maybe it'll work. Just get down here in the grip. Try not to slide up too hard. You can kind of just run here in the middle and then I go wide. Oh, got that. Let's go. Top five goal for practice. That's some good money too. Got a 692. Maybe that uh, apron in one and two actually worked a little bit. But I go wide off this front stretch and get a good turn in. 931 on the second lap. That wasn't that great, but still got fifth there in qualifying. That's perfect. Right on the time we needed. So we're starting in heat number one in second. Melair is on, on pole. So we'll hopefully try to beat him here and start on pole for the qualifying dash. That'd be amazing. I don't think we've ever been on pole for the qualifying dash unless we uh, actually got the pole in that race. Malaire is not letting us get to the inside. He goes low really late. So it's hard to get down to the bottom in time to do a crossover because we can actually get a pretty good jump or, the in or all the AI don't get as good of a jump as normal. I don't know. But damn, we have a long ass heat race for because it was 80 80 percent there so we have eight laps here in the heat then we're gonna have probably eight more laps in the qualifying dash Valera is actually pulling away some like i said the heat races are so tough like they're just set really hard hopefully he starts running wide that would be nice because the wide is just really slow i think this is going to be like the last race where all the ai are on the bottom regardless but we should be able to start top five regardless since we'll be in fifth for the qualifying dash, might be able to get up the fourth or third potentially because of the two on the outside. So that would be interesting. Hopefully we can get up the third. That'd be nice. Because I think the inside lane starting for us is going to be really good. Miller's not getting that far away though. He's only a second ahead and we've kind of uh, paced ourselves to stay right about that. He got another tenth away, but we pull it back every now and then. We run a good lap. We ran at 813 there. What do we ran this race? This uh, race, the 813 is our fastest so far. But that qualifying time was really nice because we got that run in, a really good run in, to the to start the lap. So I don't think we'll beat that in the feature or anything, unless like the track really picks up some speed. But final lap of the heat race, we're gonna come home second, right where we started. Starting fifth in the qualifying dash would be nice. Maybe I shouldn't have made this one 20 laps because it is a pretty big 410 mile track. So it is what it is. Didn't really know how it was going to race. Never know until you've been here before, but I've never been on this track. It's an interesting one. I don't I don't dislike it. I don't like it a ton, but it's not bad. I think it's a solid track. Seems like I'm getting in front of Dabrowski really fast. I just went all the way down on the apron. Don't know why, but I did. It worked. We're up to third already, getting in front of Bard as well. Okay, we're three wide. I'm freaking out. We're going to go three wide down on the bottom. I hit Dabrowski. He keeps it going straight, though. We're good. Did I damage the car? No, we're good. Because I was turning in like normal for my corner, but maybe he was expecting me to go down in the apron like I did in the first corner. I don't know. We'll see if we can catch up to Duke or Malair up front here. But if we can just hold on to third here, Dabrowski is actually really fast right now. Jeez. I just need to hold this bottom though. But he is flying up on us. So us getting together. Either he's driving angry or he's just fast at this track. I don't know. But I want to hold this third to be on the bottom for the A main. Even if I can catch Duke Jr., I don't really want to be in second. Oh, we get a caution. Okay. We might get up to second here. We, we'll see how this would have worked out in the A main. I honestly, oh, it seems like it might have been Dabrowski because he is in last now. <laughs> I don't know what happened to him, but he's gone. He's in, he's in dead last. Bard is here in fourth. He was really, really fast and I guess just too aggressive. 
Oop, I turned in late and it made Duke go really wide. So that worked out for us, I guess. We got Reed right behind us. Oh, he's going in low. He's about flipping us. He's sending us to the wall. Jesus, dude. And Debrosi, yeah, he's way back here slow. That damaged our car a lot. That's unfortunate. Reed just absolutely sent us in that corner. Like I was maybe half a car length up from the bottom and he sent his whole car down there in the half lane and absolutely sent us. So we're gonna be starting back in seventh, it looks like. That's unfortunate. Yeah, Debrosi got a lot of damage in whatever wreck he was in. We are catching these guys. We just don't have any more time. That's unfortunate. So we're gonna have to work our way back to the front in the A main. That's all right. Passing is a little tough here, it seems like, but I think we can do all right. And hopefully we can get up there and catch Malaire potentially. Because what it's shown so far, we should win this race <laughs> with the uh, cycle that we've had every week. So I'm really hoping that we can get back up there pretty quick. We're already up to sixth. Should get up to fifth pretty quick being on the inside of Youngquist here. Reed is still stuck on the outside. I hope he stays stuck out there, but actually he's getting down. No, he's not. I filled that gap and we're already up to third. I don't know why Duke would have gotten up behind Reed. That was dumb. Dodson here in second runs a little wide. We had a good run off of turn two. We're already up to second. Let's go. All right, now we got 1.3 seconds to try to catch Belair. 18 laps to go. Let's see if we can lock in, hit our laps down here on the bottom. Already down the one second. Oh, yeah, we're catching him, especially when we start catching this lap traffic. For sure, we're catching him. There's no doubt in my mind we're not winning this race. We already got more of a gap behind us than in front of us. We are very fast. I'm shocked the Dabrowski is not already towards the front, honestly, because he was really fast there in that qualifying dash. Unless, like, he was just stuck on that outside too bad off the start. Malera's keeping that like one second lead, just about. But I see that number one uh, getting closer, like just hovering over his car. It's getting much closer. Every corner. So maybe I'm happy I, I put 20 laps instead of 15. <laughs> Gave us time to uh, get up to him. But honestly, we might have the lead by lap 15. So it might not have mattered. Just give us some more laps led. 13 laps remaining. We are catching the lap traffic quite quick. They're right there going into turn three. So that's going to be the interesting part if we could uh, get by them clean. We're only half a second behind now. Getting right to them. I'm going to get a really big run here. Going super wide into the corner. Off, uh, going into turn one. Oh, they're wrecking. That's going to ruin our run. Damn it. That's unfortunate. That's not what I wanted. Def oh, Reed's all the way back there at eighth. Good. <laughs> Motherfucker <laughs> sending me in the qualifying dash. How dare you? I hope he falls back even farther because he's an eighth. All right, Malaire, what do you have for us? I need to get to the inside. I know you're gonna dive it in. So are the guys behind. Try not to get hit here. Need to try to get that run. Oh, we're three wide. That's not fun. This is why I did not want to be on the outside. All right, let's go back down to the inside. And we're going to have to try to chase down Malaya again. We need to make some quick work of these guys, though. Youngquist, why are you so slow? I clipped his right rear. That was not great. The Broski, you're too damn slow. And I got sent from the Broski into Duke. So that's unfortunate. I was trying to take it three wide, and I think the Broski got slightly wide there, I want to say. Like, I think I thought he was going further inside, and he didn't. So that's unfortunate. Damn, these laps are really winding down now. I really thought we were going to catch Malair, but unfortunately the lap car is wrecked and that ruined our race. Seven laps left, six laps left, six laps left. All right, we need to make quick work of these guys. I need to get in front of Youngquist really, really fast because I know I'm faster than Malair. We just have to do this quick. Try to get a good run down on the back stretch here. I think it was good enough to get to his left rear going in. Oh, I don't want to hit you. That was some big, like, bubble that we hit him with. All right, Malaire's eight tenths ahead with, like, four laps left. This is not great, and Youngquist is going to get to our inside. I thought I was going to get sent going in that corner if I went low. I think I could have went low, though. I'm going to go wide in to try to cross him back over. We may get another second here, which is unfortunate. 
But we'll get that top five goal for the qual uh, sponsor at least, which is good. Two laps left, 1.2 seconds back. There's nothing we can really do to catch Malera at this point, I think. That's unfortunate. We were so fast. There's really nothing about that that we really did wrong. It was just unfortunate where we had to start and everything, like restart at least. Maybe if I wouldn't have gotten a scent in the uh, qualifying dash, we would have had a much better shot. We were seven tenths behind him there at the last lap. Damn it. Uh, a couple more laps, we would have been there for sure. We had such a fast car, but second place, good enough. Like, we're, we're killing it in the points. I'm just trying to gain as much money as we can, mainly. And just stack up them wins on the, uh, the stat sheet. So, yeah, I'm not, I don't even want to do the math for that. I think it's 84 points. We're ahead of Duke, which is crazy. We're dominating this series. $18,000 for second. It wasn't a very high paying race either. I think it was only 20,000 or 21,000 to win. So, 31,000 there for that race. Not too shabby. All right, let's get a top five this race and get that sponsor goal for top five as well. We're going to Lucas Oil, which I have struggled at before. I need to stay off of the tires at the bottom because that will screw us over if we hit those. So hang on. Let me see how many laps this is. 20 laps. That's perfect. Let's go to Lucas Oil and hopefully try to win this thing. All right, we hit the practice goal pretty well. Don't know if we'll be able to get another tenth or so out of it to get the qualifying. I did already hit the tire in practice like first lap, which was annoying, but on iRacing the other day, like this past week, like last week from when this is going out, because yeah, this is going out Wednesday. I think I did the race like last Thursday, might have posted it on Friday, or no, I think I posted it Thursday. I think I did it on Tuesday, but had a great race here in the 360 sprint cars on iRacing. That was a ton of fun if you wanted to check that out. I'm hitting the wall all over the place. Ran a seven there. Oh, that's bad. I need to try to lock in for the second lap on three and four. I think that's probably where I lost my time. Oh my God, that was pitcher perfect for three and four. As close as I could have gotten it down there. Got up to ninth. That's all right. That's not too bad, honestly. Be heat number two, number uh, in heat number four, number two, starting second. I'm dyslexic, but uh, that's not bad. Five heats. I think it's like $30,000 to win this track something like that or 25 so there's more people here than there were last week so let's see if we could try to get in front of bard here 95 i honestly like the way that number looks on the side of the wing like up front like that it looks pretty good it's like kind of getting cut off it's so damn big but it looks good all right i need to try to get in front of bard here try not to hit okay well, somehow we touched him we did not really touch him though because that outside doesn't seem super fast, but he's making it work in one and two. I think three and four, I make the bottom work really well, though. As long as I don't hit that tire. That tire down there is deadly. I've hit it too many times. Because we're definitely a little quicker than him, it seems. At least right off the start. I kind of ruined our uh, momentum, like, barely tapping him, apparently. I think there was just a bubble there. trying to see if we can do anything i think he's got this one locked down so i'm just gonna kind of run the middle stay away from the tires for the most part just go on to the qualifying dash here starting eighth the outside kind of sucks because we get a decent jump so the ai don't get as good of a jump as we are like they normally do like they get a better jump normally so we're gonna start back in eighth for the qualifying dash here hopefully we can gain some spots out of it oh no we're starting ninth how will we start ninth? I'm confused. Oh, yeah, because it's not four heats. That's why it's five heats. I'm stupid. I am I I forgot that we even qualified ninth. That would have just gave it right away for me anyway. So we're starting on the inside, which is actually better for us, I think. I'm already right rearing Kenny Hefner. Nice. The Broskis on our outside. Try not to run into Young Quiz. That was super tight. Reed is in front of us. Don't go low. Yes, he goes wide. We're good. Should be able to slide up in front of him, barely. His bump like sent us through the wall, so that was on me anyways, because I was making it that tight. We're up to seventh though, that's good. We're still good on damage. Oh, watch out for the tire. That was a terrible exit, because I was trying to miss the tire. I turned it in too early. I know we're fast if I hit the line right. The hard part is hitting the line right. This track's just so difficult with the tires at the very edge. I've really pushed the limits as much as I can to is the problem in a way quote unquote problem because like if you do it right it's not a problem if you hit the tire it's a problem it's a very massive problem and I've hit that tire more times than not I would say in a race like I've probably hit it more races than not 
I would say. Not more times than not. Because I definitely go by the corner more times than I hit the tire. But I definitely hit the tire more times than I've raced here, I would say. But starting seventh, at least we moved up a whole other row. That's not too bad. Let's try to at least get that top five. Some races we do pretty well here as long as we stay clean. But some races we've been really bad because we haven't. So let's see what kind of race this is. If it's a clean one or not. Had a really good jump. Got inside of Youngquist immediately. Reed is trying to take us three wide. He already sent us last week, so I'm not very fond of him right now. Oh, Bolak, I almost ran you over. I almost got to his inside too, but there was a tire there. The tire kind of saved him from me getting under him. Oh, I wasn't expecting Malera to get out there. Oh, I tried to turn it left. That didn't work. I can't see anything because of the billboards. That's nice. Good camera work. Because billboards are in the way. All right, let's see if we can work our way back up to the top five. How damaged are we? 97. Okay, it's not awful, but the right side's pretty damaged. That was a really good three and four getting by Youngquist there. Youngquist has fallen back really quick. Got in front of Fred Arnold. Let's see if we can get back by Reed. Yeah, I just was not expecting Malair to still be out there. I thought I was going to be able to slide up on him. That was a tight slider, but it didn't really work out for us because I went straight into the corner. I went in way too low, too early. 15 laps to go still, so we're good. Okay, never mind. We're not good. I'm wrecking Reed and wrecking myself. How damaged are we? 77? Ugh. And we're back to eight. That hurts. That really hurts. That's not good at all. Are we in front of... We're in front of Reed. Okay, that's nice. Actually, I kind of wish we were behind Reed because we would have been ninth instead of eighth. Try to get this start. Oh, yeah, we're a little slow on start. Our back end pretty damaged. Oh, almost ran Arnold there. That was close. I was, like, way off throttle trying to, like, barely tap it to keep us going but not run up into him. We definitely are a little bit slower than we were initially but still making it work down here we don't have any engine damage luckily we're lucky we don't if we had engine damage we'd be much slower engine or radiator try to break his momentum there on the outside that was a really good turn one let's see if we can try to get in front of bar now all i need is top five just want to hit the uh money goal for the sponsorship we already broke our streak of first second first second every race so that's unfortunate I'd like to get top two every week, too. That would be nice, but I don't know if we can. Oh, I'm going to go too wide, too wide, too wide. That's the wall. And that's the wall again. And Hefner's down there. Sorry, Hefner. He's wrecking. That's going to be another caution. Yep, we're going to be at eighth again. Damn it. I keep screwing us up by causing cautions. Like, I'm getting a good run, ran too wide, and then got into Hefner coming back down. Like, I was trying to just get off the wall, and he had to be there, unfortunately. This track always is bad for me. Let's get inside of Arnold. That sounds bad, but we're fine. He he gave us the consent. It's all right. He gave us the room to get in there. Trying to get this top five, though. We're inside Bard now. We're going from one to another. No time in between for rest. Oh, the leaders are wrecking. Oh, and I got the tire. What the hell happened there? We're back in sixth. What happened? Jesus. The leaders are wrecking. I hit the brakes to try to miss them. I hit the inside tire. That was a whole mess right there. Jesus. How many laps do we have left? It has to be like a green white checkered. Do we have any engine damage? No, we're still at 76. We got lucky there. Okay, it's not even a green white checkered. Yeah, I'm shocked. Let's try to get to the inside of all these guys at once. Okay, we got to the top five. Okay, never mind. Not cleanly. We're flipping. Okay, I'm doing cartwheels. That's not good. <laughs> I might have some more damage now. I was really trying to cut off. I think it was Dabrowski, I want to say. I think it was. I was trying to uh, get that top five secured by cutting off his momentum. And I did some cartwheels. I was a freaking gymnast for once. <laughs> uh, we're still at 76, actually. So we're lucky. We're, we are very lucky. My car should hardly be running. If not, it should be dead. Oh, I'm getting in the read. Honestly, I don't feel bad about getting in the read. I feel bad about getting in everybody else. Youngquist trying to get to our inside. No, thank you. Duke, move. Oh, no, Duke. And I'm stopped. That's lovely. 
Oh no, oh no, no caution. Why do we get so screwed from that stuff all the time and I'm accidentally getting into him, the other Hefner? What a mess. This track always screws me over every single season. There's been like one time we've had a really good race here. There's been plenty, and I'm wrecking off a of turn four. We're gonna finish dead last. What the hell? Actually not dead last, eh, dead last. Yep, we're dead last. Son of a bitch. Oh, this track sucks on iRacing. Or not iRacing, on this game, World of Outlaws. Damn it. That is so unfortunate, man. We're gonna lose a lot of points there. Well, that's very unfortunate for us. So, how many points did we lose there? Like, we, we lost out on a ton of money for one. That's unfortunate. And then, we're still first in the season standings by far, but only by 40 points now. Oh my god, we lost like... 42 points on Duke in that race. That is crazy because where did he finish? He did not win. He got second. So damn, he nearly got max points on us there. That's crazy. That's super unfortunate. And actually, if we didn't make the A main, he'd get max points, but max points for the A main. So that's unfortunate. Still with 23,000 in that race, but should have been much more than that. That was a very disappointing one. Yeah, things got very destroyed that race. That's unfortunate. Haven't seen that bad of a finish for us 25th in a long time. So let's go repair all that. Get ready for the showcase race. And we do get a message. Probably going to be a bad one. Don't let that last race get you down. Remember, people believe in you and you're here for a reason. That's so encouraging. <laughs> Oh god, I knew it wasn't going to be a positive one for sure, but Texas haven't been here yet. This is going to be interesting. Let's go back to the top five goal. Probably would have been win if uh, we didn't like completely destroy that race, but just repair everything because everything was about to be repaired anyways if it wasn't there yet, but only a 40 point lead now. That's so disappointing to see, but it still have like what five races, six races left, uh, six, excuse me, six races left, including Texas here. And uh, we have a pretty good stretch at the end, which is nice. So Texas, let's see how this goes. I'm going to drop it down to, what, 20 laps? I think it's going to be 40%. So uh, 20 laps here at Texas. Hopefully, we can do really well here. We need to try to recoup that money that we just lost in that race. So hopefully, we can win here. All right, I barely hit that practice goal. That was a very tough top five goal to hit. So I had to change a little bit of the gear ratio, made a little bit more acceleration off the corners. Still not maxing out going down the straights, but I don't know if I really need to fully. I feel like this uh, setup's pretty good the way it is now. But it do get a little bit more speed off these corners, which is nice, definitely needed. It feels a lot like Las Vegas that we ran this season already and for the first time also, and we did really well there. So hopefully we can do pretty well here in the showcase. Got a 13 0 12. That's not terrible, but definitely could have been a little faster. We were only like half a tenth faster than that, anyways, in practice. So, only might be like a spot or two difference in qualifying, but it's probably not going to be too fast. Actually, we ran the same exact time there the second lap. That's funny. 18th. So, it's exactly what we ran in uh, practice, which is nice. Uh, I think top three make it to the A main. And who's on pole? Where is Duke. Duke is six. Okay, he's the one I'm only worried about now because he's 40 points back because we had such a bad race. That was unfortunate. But top three make it. We actually got Duke in our heat race here. I'm hoping we can get in front of Gamola. Had a good start there. Maybe because of my gear ratio change for more acceleration. And if he's stuck on that outside, we might be able to get in front of him here and then be in that qualifying dash. Slide up in front of him, break his momentum. We're good. We're up in second. That's beautiful. Love to see that. Because if we can make it to that qualifying dash, that's a big difference in starting back in, what was that, 18th that we qualified? We'll at least be top 12. So that's a solid six spots higher minimum. So that's really, really helpful. Got to try to get that money back from last week that we lost. Gamola is flying up on us. He's definitely faster than us, but we just got to stay in front of him for one more lap. I hit the apron a little bit. That messed up our line. But it looks like we're good to go. We're going to be in the qualifying dash. All right, let's try to gain some spots out of this too. Definitely need it. I would like to get a top 10 starting spot. That'd be nice. Because we, we did really well at Las Vegas, but it took a while to get my uh, groove down and uh, get towards the front. I finished second just barely. I think it was to, who was it, to Holden, I think. I think Holden got the win. But we got Kenny to our inside. 
We'll see if we could try to make some moves early, try not to get into anybody. I've been getting to a lot of people in this series, season, like the second episode, I should say. First episode was super clean. Just this, this uh, episode has been really bad. Thought it was going to be a pretty solid season, not really getting into too many people. And then this episode, oh my, it's been a mess. Oh, Kaiser's back. I haven't seen Mike Kaiser in a while. I recognize the uh, scheme and stuff and the name from uh, the 305 season. But we haven't seen him in quite some time, which is funny. But we're passing him for eighth. That's awesome. Very good uh, rebound. Not rebound, like really good uh, qualifying dash, moving up some spots and stuff. Whoever's out front, that 95 is flying. They were so far ahead of everyone else. Like nobody had a shot at them. Who is that on pole? I don't even know. I'll see here in a second. But uh, that is Garrett Bard. Okay, so there's a separate Bard. Okay. Uh, wait. Is that the normal? That's the normal Bard. 95. That was his number on this car. Yeah. Bard is just super fast here. Wow. I honestly didn't ever recognize the first name of Bard. I just knew him as Bard. But I didn't know Garrett was his first name. That's funny. So that's good to know. But yeah, he's up front. Let's get inside of Duke early. We're going to be three wide first corner. Got to press the issue when you can. Just be safe with it. No beating, banging in these things. Already up to sixth. The Broski's here in fifth. I think we can get by him running that outside pretty quick. Holden is falling back a little bit. Might be able to get a two for one here. At least getting to Broski. Okay, Holden's still on that outside though. He's getting a lot of speed down the straights, but we catch a lot through the corner. Like, I could probably slide up here off of turn four. No problem, I think. Actually, there would be a problem. That definitely would have been a problem if I did that. Still got 17 laps, though. Work our way towards the front. We're in that top five, so I'm happy about that. We'll get a new sponsor after this as well. I think it's REQ is going to be our new sponsor. The one that gives us more, I think, like a $32,000 uh, initial payout. It's like... For $400 less per race, but the initial payout's a ton more, so it's much more worth it to make it to the end of the year. And Holden is going flipping. Uh, do or Dabrowski got into him behind me, I saw, in the mirror. He right-reared the hell out of him and sent him flipping. He did multiple uh, heel flips, kick flips, whichever way you want to call it, whichever foot you have in the front. But we got Lamellaer, and then Gamol, oh no, Gramley, and then Bard up front, and the Broski is now back up here, but I'm gonna get back down to the bottom pretty quick and try to make quick work of him. And Kaiser went right along with us. Gramley, we haven't been around much. We've been around Malaire a decent bit recently, and Bard, we were around a bunch, I feel like, so. Top four is a solid spot. Let's try to get top three. Maybe try to get back to our top two ways. We had top two for the first like seven races of the season, which is crazy. And then now it's falling off. I, I lost uh, my top uh, two and then got dead last. <laughs> got 25th. So that was unfortunate. So at least that's the only one we were outside the top like five four, which is nice. I've like consistently been outside the top five. Other than that, we've been in top two. Think I might have him cleared? Nope, not quite. That was close. All right, Graham Lamb, throwing a slider on you. Hopefully you enjoy it. I hope you enjoy sliders. I got the wall, though, so Youngquist got in front of us. Don't get his left rear. I thought I was going to hit him with my tire. Youngquist is very back and very back and forth. Uh, he's, like, fast some weeks and then really slow some weeks. Not, like, really slow, but, like, 15th place slow. And the Broski just freaking flies up on you and then we'll fall back. Like, he has a couple good laps and then he goes up and now he's getting flipped by Youngquist. <laughs> that is kind of karma in a way because he sent Holden earlier in the race. So, the Broski got it back from somebody else. They did not appreciate what you did to Holden. Just absolutely sent you the same exact way. That's hilarious. All right, we got like six laps left here. Hopefully get in front of Miller here pretty quick. I need to not right rear him, but I need to hold the bottom because Duke is right on my ass. I need to try to gain some points back on Duke. Yeah, get in front of Miller. Perfect. Love to see that. Who's right behind me? That's Gramley. 
Gramley's on the bottom right behind me trying to get in front of Malera now too. I need to stay off that apron because that apron's a lot smaller than it was at uh, Las Vegas. So it's a lot uh, closer to those tires. Definitely could hit one of them. That'd be pretty uh, embarrassing hitting one of those tires though. As I'm probably going to do it when because I said it. <laughs> Bard is freaking gone, dude. Like he has this track down. This must be his home track or something where he used to run every week or something like that. Because he is flying, man. So fast. I don't want any more cautions. Even though we might have a chance to catch Bard and, like, potentially get in front of him, I don't want a caution. Because I don't want to accidentally get into somebody and lose a bunch of spots. I'm fine with the top two. It's a $42,500 uh, paycheck for first. We may get, like, 38000 still for second, which is awesome. So I'm, I'm just happy getting back up to our top two ways. And... We're going to finish second here. Get some points back on Duke. Even though we still had a 40-point lead, that's like... I lost over 40 in one race, so it could happen. We gained four back there, so uh, that was that's nerve-wracking knowing I could finish dead last by accident and lose over 40 to somebody. So we're back up to a 44-point lead. That's solid. Uh, and hopefully we can keep stretching that back out and gaining some more money. Yeah, uh, 38.25. Nice. I said 38,000. They gave me $250 more. That's awesome. $50,000. That's the first time we've seen that in the 305s. And the car didn't really get destroyed at all, which is awesome. I'm happy about that. We actually had a clean race for the first time in like two races. Because I think Desert Rock was kind of rough for us. And then so was uh, Lucas Oil, obviously. So we're going to go with RE. Oh, no. We're going with VP Racing. That's what it is. $31,500. But only like $400 less on the race payout. But the initial payout is beautiful. We definitely need that that basically gets us back the money we lost at lucas oil so i'm happy about that up to four hundred and eighty four thousand dollars, 44 point lead going into the last five races of the year we're going to end up with lima land knoxville cedar lake straight river and dirt track at charlotte to finish out this season we should win the championship no problem but you never know with how lucas oil win that was a scary moment actually no, we were top two every rate every every time until Lucas Oil. So Lucas Oil was the first time we were outside of it. Okay. I didn't know that. I thought we were outside of it for Desert Rock for some reason, but we ended up coming back getting second. So every race has been top two besides Lucas Oil. And that's kind of disappointing. Lucas Oil is just not fun. So I'm happy uh we're still doing great this season. Gaining a lot of money and uh hopefully we can get a little bit more by the end of the season. I'm hoping for like 700,000 by the end of the season 25 28 27 and a half 25 and 45 thousand dollars are the show are the uh first prize pools for each of those races so hopefully we can end up with like 700 thousand dollars maybe a little bit more than because we should be able to get that hoosier sponsor also for the initial payout so i think we'll be a little bit over 700 thousand for going into a new season so that's not too bad and uh, so I appreciate you guys for watching as always. It's been a very fun career mode. Still have a long time to go. This will be our second championship uh, once we hit next episode and finish that hopefully uh, out of the eight in the national season. So we still have a long ways to go. So I appreciate you guys for sticking around this long and all the support on these episodes. They've been a lot of fun for me and I, I appreciate you guys for watching. So I will catch you guys in the next one.